Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brain TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms videos. If you guys are gonna hear them, please subscribe because I make daily Rise of Kingdoms videos here and daily tips for Rise of Kingdoms. And who doesn't want that? So, um, if you and so let's just get to the video. We're gonna be talking about if it's worth it to um have a garrison commander now. As you guys might already know, garrison commanders are over here. So you have your garrison, like I just said, and then. What the garrison does is they protect your city. So the reason why people might might not want a garrison commander is because you have to have an entire um, commander that just has this entire skill tree dedicated to garrison. And I'll be talking about if it's worth it in the city to have one. Now I used to think that it wasn't worth it to have a garrison commander, but after I thought about it for a while, I don't really have much use for Sun Tzu or Herman. So I decided to max out Sun Tzu. And build him as a garrison commander. Now I'm gonna explain why he would be why I'd want to have a garrison commander. The first thing I want to say is that their talent tree. So their talent tree is one of the most in talent trees that I like a lot, because with talent trees, a lot of the stuff is I don't really like too much. Like this one, it decreases skill damage taken. I mean, increases the skill damage taken, but also increases skill damage. Like I don't want the skill, but with the thing with um, garrison commanders is that they have almost every single skill is a really good skill now things like these it's like only six percent well like this one is like only against a three like nine rage when you're done like it's not that much rage compared to the things that garrison commanders can provide like um also ring garrison commander like this is a six percent increase um 15 percent damage skill damage reduced which is huge um this one is a 6 rage every time your city is attacked. Now this is like the other one, but a little bit worse. This one is, um, serving as a garrison commander. I, uh, when attacking, reduce. That's a really good one. This one is health increased by the commander serving as a garrison commander by 3%. That's also pretty good. And also this one, um, while serving as a garrison commander, enhance by 9%. Oh, I uh, re da damage reduction effect by nine percent. So I really like the garrison tree just because of all the good buffs that I have. Wait, let me move my camera down a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit high, but um, so yeah, I uh, this is also damage factor. It's not. I I feel like this is the worst one there. I wouldn't say that it's a it's a pretty good one if you do get the ten percent chance because there's a ten percent chance to get this, but it's not that high of a chance. So. I might get this eventually if I feel like it, but it's not really the best. It's kind of good, but I don't know. It's it's not it's not as good as the other ones. And um, the other thing we're gonna be talking about is these the skills though. So um, the reason why I chose Sun Tzu is because if it's surrounded by multiple targets, it can hit all those targets by a direct damage factor of 200, so that it can hit multiple targets that are surrounding its city and then one main one by 800 and then same thing with this one when it's it it doesn't in a circular shape um what is being attacked and this was um i talked about my story time of me getting attacked and having a max sun zoo was really good and beneficial to have when i was being attacked this morning i talked about the story time i'm not sure if it's out yet but if it's not out then you guys need to turn on notifications so you get that as soon as it comes out because it was a pretty crazy story if it is out, then make sure to go to my videos and check it out after this video is over. So, um, another one is Herman. So Herman, I didn't, I didn't like him in the beginning because I didn't know I overlooked this first skill that he has because I was like, eh, it's not that good. Um, but then I looked into it and I, it says it silences a target for two seconds, which is huge because the si the target um, that is attacking you, it's usually attacking for about. 30 seconds and 2 seconds every time the skill is used. This is like it just complete silence for 2 seconds. And this is huge because you don't get attack. Like it like reduces the attack for 2 seconds. I keep saying 2 seconds but you get you get the point. So that's really important. Um, you guys can do Hermit if you guys want a commander that can attack 1. Like if it's getting rallied this is the best commander for it. But Sun Tzu if there's multiple targets like the like when I got attacked. There's multiple targets on my uh, city, which was helpful. So, um, Eulji, he, eh, I, I'm defense. Uh, yeah, he can he can be good for garrison, 
But as I said, he's pretty much, uh... I really like the, the silence thing. He's, as they used to call it before, I think it was called, uh... Mmm... Wait. Uh, it's on Alfred, it says the name. Um, Disabler, yeah. So, um, the, they used to be a class called Disabler. Instead of Archer, I think it was, it was called a Disabler, but I think they changed it recently. So, I mean, ever since they made new skill trees, they took out the Disabler, um, trait. So, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Also, um, um, Richard and... Uh, Charles and Martel are really good garrison commanders. I'm not done with the video yet, not quite yet, because they have um, this counterattack damage, which is really good, and also this damage reduction. They're probably the best gar. Whoa, my. Com I'm sorry about that. My my camera moved down when I wasn't looking. Wait, let me fix this really quick. Okay, I must have stepped on the cord or something. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so they're pretty much the best uh, garrison commanders for legendaries in the game, but legendaries take a while to upgrade, so they're not really the best right now. Same with Charles Martel, they have, they have, um, garrison and watchtower buffs, especially with, um, with, uh, Charles Martel. Garrison and a watchtower bonus of 10%, both, for each, so that's pretty good. So that's pretty much it for this video, if you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, and if you guys are new here, then please subscribe, because I make daily Rise of Kingdoms videos here. And thank you for staying in to watch this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.